Hi, I'm Arthik from 4D Systems. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a 4D Uno touchscreen in order to control an LED. 4D Uno has an onboard LED connected to the digital pin 13 and we can make use of it for this project. However, for the convenience of the demonstration, we will use an external LED. In addition to the 4D Uno, we will need a breadboard, an LED, resistor in the range of 220 ohms to 1 kilo ohm and some jumper wires. To build the project, we will first plug in the LED onto the breadboard. We will connect the cathode of the LED to ground in series with the resistor. The anode of the LED will be connected to the digital pin 13 and now we are complete with the circuit. Now let's see how to program our 4 Duino. 4 Duino is Arduino IDE compatible. Programming the 4 Duino is almost similar to programming an Arduino. But programming using Workshop 4 environments will make it easier for you to add graphics into your 4 Duino. Ok, now let's get started. You can find the complete code for this project at our website. Simply open the Forduino project. This project has been written on basic graphics environment. Environments you can program the Forduino in and their full potentials are explained in detail in the Forduino datasheet. Most lines of the code in this project are part of the skeleton code. It adds the necessary libraries and also enables the communication between Atmel controller and the Picasso GPU. This is already done by the IDE, so you can directly start coding without worrying about any of these. It also contains the lines of code for initializing Forduino Wi-Fi communication. And all you need to do is simply uncomment this section if you wish to use Wi-Fi in your project. You will see the exact Arduino programming language has been used with the setup and loop functions. In the setup function, pin 13 is declared as output. Here we enable touch in order to obtain the input from user. We will store the state of the button press in a variable called bState. And finally, we will create a button and print LED state on the display. We can type the state of the LED right next to it. To start off with, we will keep the LED in off state. Hence, we will type LED state as off. In the loop function, first we will check if there is an input of pressed or moved is being detected by the display. If so, after making sure it is actually from the button, we will toggle the state of the LED and display the current state on the screen. This is actually done after the touch is released from the button. That's all for the programming. Connect your 4 dv node to the PC. Make sure you are connected to the right COM port. In my case, it's COM3. Simply click on COM and load. This will compile and load the code into your Forduino. And you will see the touch button on your Forduino display. There you go. Now you know how to control an LED using a Forduino touchscreen. I hope you enjoyed this introductory Forduino video. If you are interested in more projects with Forduino, please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.